it's a little bit before six o'clock, about 5.45 on Sunday. And um, it was a very long day. And not that great of a day. The sun's just going down. I was gonna try to shoot this with some natural sunlight, but uh, as it turns out, I probably waited a little too long. As I mentioned in my last video, I had surgery uh, on my left foot and uh, it was pretty major surgery. And so for about eight to 10 weeks, I have to be completely non-weight bearing. And I will go into more details in a video uh, forthcoming about why I had to have the surgery and the specifics about what the surgery included. But suffice it to say, um, I have this little rollabout thing, which um, I'll also show you. Um, and it's what I use to get around uh, with just one foot instead of crutches um, or a walker. And so this morning, it was a beautiful day in Dallas. It was, I mean, just gorgeous, about 63 degrees blue skies, no clouds, and so I decided I was going to be productive and for the first time on my own without any help, go do just everyday errands. I needed to go to Petco and get my cat some uh, food because she's been on a totally unnecessary, undeserved diet. And then also I needed to stop by a CVS um, and buy some, uh, you know, just pills and um, stuff like that that you could get at Target, but I figured a CVS or a Walgreens would be easier and quicker because it's a smaller parking lot and a smaller store. And anyway, uh, you know what would normally take like 30 minutes at the most uh, took over an hour and it just, it just sucks. You just get tired of it. And um, first when I got down to my parking garage to get in my car, some asshole had come in last night. I'm guessing drunk because they'd left the light on like the interior light of their car was on. And I hope, I hope you have a dead battery, you thoughtless douchebag. Um, but they parked like way over the line, butted right up against my car. And I have to have my door open really wide so I can pick my little scooter rollabout thing up and get it in, which is a struggle in and of itself on one foot and balancing and all that. And then you can't get the door more than halfway open because of the drunk bastard part next to me. So that just, uh, the expedition started out bad right there. And then I went to Petco and um, that was okay. Again, just tiring, takes a long time. And then I went to CVS and um, just bought a few little things. It was just, um, it was rough trying to get everything in the car, and then I had gotten some cash back. I used my debit card when I checked out at CVS, and so I got a 20, and um, the wind, it was a beautiful day today, but it was kind of gusty, and so really gusty, actually, and as I was loading everything in my car, um, I had put my wallet on top, and the wallet had the receipts uh, for the stuff that I would bought, and then the $20 bill, and a big gust of wind came and blew it off, and of course, it all just went to hell, and the receipts flew off, and the $20 bill flew off. And um, so I guess I didn't need that 20. <laughs> I uh, just have to let it go. And that $20 bill, its destiny was to run free, and hopefully whoever finds it uh, needs it more than I did. So then I got home, and I had laundry to do, and dishes to wash, and I'm just tired, and... I know the surgery is worth it and I know I needed to do it and I know it'll make my life much better. I teeter between tired and really, really tired. And bonus points to anybody who can tell me where that comes from. It's a lyric from a song, so if you pick up on that one. Anyway, just a long day and I know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It just feels like a really, really long tunnel. And today was one of those days when I just wanted to say, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this again, but I have to. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, I should try to end this on a up note <laughs> since it was kind of a downer. Um, when I was in the um, CVS uh, parking lot, loading my car, getting the stuff out, um, right before my wallet went flying in the wind and I lost the 20, um, this lady came up and she wasn't even parked close to me. She was like on the other side of the parking lot and she just came over and she was like, can I help you? Do you need help? You just, you know, bless your heart. And um, that was just really sweet. And I just thought that that was, it was a little shiny spot in an otherwise uh, shitty day. And, um, and she was very nice. And I thought that was really cool for uh, 
you know, a stranger. The kindness of strangers. There's something to be said for that. And so I said, no, thank you. I really appreciate it. And then as she was walking away, right at that moment was when my wallet went blowing off the top of the car. And she was so sweet. She like tracked down all the receipts, um, but couldn't find the 20. And no, don't be cynical. She did not take the 20. Um, I watched her and I don't know where the 20 went. I saw it hit the ground and then poof, like it was just gone. So I didn't even mention it to her and I know she did not take it. Um, but she did run all over the parking lot and get all my receipts and return them to me. And it was really sweet, so that was nice of her.